They shall grow not old, as we that shall let grow old. It shall not weary them, nor the years from them. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. to invite Kevin Edmund, ex British Army, served for over six years. He's going to recite the Kahima attack. Thank you, Kevin. When you go home, tell them of us and say, 
for your tomorrow we give our today. Thank you, sir. I'm not going to recite a poem. I found this on the internet. I was looking for a tribute to Lee Ripley. And um, it was written by a lady called Susan Logan in 2013, so years ago. Um, I think it's a very pretty tribute. It's hard to free the living free. Our soldiers fight for freedom, but it doesn't come free. If those in Britain don't believe this, take a look at what happened to me. Just, out safe, just outside safety, my barracks were in sight. A sudden attack from behind me. I had no chance to fight. Look after my little boy. I beg you. Hold him by the hand. Teach him how to play the drums. Just as I had planned. Let not his heart be filled with hatred for those who cause my death. And may he always know I love him with every single breath. I could never have predicted what was about to unfold. But I served in my army with the pride and honour and joy in heaven I will continue to hold. I promise to watch over my comrades Keep them as safe as I can. May my drums continue to be heard throughout the British land. Right. Now that's all by uh, Nicola and young Thomas. Ten years old and look what he's doing. We really appreciate every one of you men and women. Oh. A soldier in a pristine uniform, bright red with gold and white trim, a smile with joyful eyes that cannot hide pride within. 
This picture is the vision, so vividly recalled, of the Royal Fusiliers drummer whose death left us destroyed. For us, he is a hero from the very first day. He adored a red and white feather in his band, you blue beret. But he was more than a soldier. He was a father, a son, a friend. He fought for queen and country. Now in heaven's halls, his service ends. I'm now going to invite, uh, I just met him five minutes ago, uh, Dave Barker, he's the chairman of the uh, Royal British Legion. I never knew he was going to be here today, but what better man to speak to us, eh? Thank you, Dave. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. As he said, I'm the chair of the RBL in Hull. We're in the K2 building, should anyone want to come and see us, on the sixth floor. All I can say now, ladies and gentlemen, to Lee Rigsby, your duty's done. Stand easy. Thank you, Dad. Right, uh, before um, we do the, uh, the collection, I just want to thank a few people. Um, first of all, there's one man that started all of this 10 years ago. Yeah, he did. He's very humble. He won't put his hand up to it. Every single year, he's made an effort. It started off with maybe two, three, four people. But every year, he's never ever failed to remember Lee Rigby. I might be the front man on this at the moment, but he's the man behind it. Okay, and if it wasn't for Billy, we wouldn't have been uh, as big as what we are today. And um, I just uh, can't thank the man enough. He's the most loyalist patriot I know. Okay, he's a very genuine man. And we love him to bits. Billy, give us a few words. No, I'm alright, mate. I'm a bit emotional, man. I'm just a bit <laughs> 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 right, is there anybody else, because this isn't all about us that's planned this, is there anybody else here today that would like to say a few words in memory, in memoriam of uh, Lee Rigby? You're all welcome to come inside, there's a lot of people here that's right. So if anybody wants to come and, come and say a few words, step forward. Okay, no problem. Huh. What's your name, mate? Kev Clark. There's Kev Clark here. Good lad. All I've got to say, people, is a big thank you for everybody turning out for the old boys that serve for us and our country. And that young boy signed up to defend this country, to fight for our lives, to keep us safe, and mercilessly killed. God bless him, may he rest in peace and stand easy, and God bless you all, but turn out today to give respect to that young man. God bless him, thank you. Thank you. Right, just to finish off then, I want to thank everybody, everybody here that turned out. Every one of you. Alright. Um, it's typical Hull. I'm not from Hull. I moved here 33 years ago. I've never wanted to leave. I've chosen to stay. Part of that is because of you lot. You can't beat the people. You can't beat the people of Hull. I'm telling you, a lot, lot of bad press about it. But don't believe them, none of it. Okay? Because the people here have a break. They turn out time and time and time again. <laughs> yeah. They turn out time and time again. Over the last year, I've seen on the internet a lot been happening in Hull, and people time and time again are being asked to to turn out, to go to demos, go to meetings, put their hands in the pocket. And you always do. You always do. I've never seen it in my life. I've never saw it down in London. I only see you here, because you're a community. So ignore all the bad press. 
I also want to thank every single one of these excess services, servicemen that are here today. All of us, I never ever served, okay? I never had to bottle. But all of us that never served, you better believe it, right? We appreciate everything that you guys have done, everything that you've sacrificed, the service that you've done with your young lads, the service you still do as old men in the British Legion, at the Remembrance Sunday, the charities that you, the charities that you um, put together, you know, we appreciate everything. Okay, so if you just remember one thing when people are slating you off in the news or on the telly and all that, just remember us, because we'll be here, and we always will be. Yeah. Right, just to finish off, um, we're going to do a bucket collection now. Uh, the roof's been paid for. Uh, anything from it today is going to Scottish Little Soldiers, which, as I said earlier, is a charity that helps families and children of uh, servicemen that left their wives. We don't expect, we would rather have one pound of everybody than 300 pound of one person. Okay? So if you can't afford it, if you can't afford a penny, that suffice. You've contributed. There's a lot of people already put in. There's a lot of people already put in, you know. No one's going to be watching you. Yeah? Okay. You, uh, you can get that back, as you always do. Thank you very much. I just now want to finish off. Can you all join together with me? Because a lot of people seem to have forgotten about me, they think. Councils, governments, politicians, a lot of people have forgotten about him, but we haven't. The people in this country haven't. So just join me in singing. There's only one Lee Rigby! There's one Lee Rigby! There's only one Lee Rigby! Good night, Phil. Right, thank you all for coming. John, John.